This is amazing. There is a new model by Microsoft called Phi 2. This is an upgraded version from Phi 1.5. As you can see here, it's far better than Phi 1.5 in common sense reasoning, language understanding, math and coding, and BBH benchmark. This also beats Mistral on various aspects. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about Phi 2. We are going to review that and I'm going to take you through step by step on how to install this and run this. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and stay tuned. Coming to Phi 2, this is a 2.7 billion parameter language model. This is small and mighty. This outperforms models up to 25 times larger. The way they are able to achieve this is by increasing training data quality. Secondly, they used innovative techniques to scale up and embedding the knowledge of Phi 1.5 to Phi 2. Phi 2 is a base model that has not undergone alignment through RLHF, but still it observed better behavior with respect to toxicity and bias. As we've seen before, it is beating Mistral in many of the areas. Not only that, it is able to compete with Llama 70 billion model. This is amazing. Now we are going to see how to run this model and let's test it. I'm going to use RunPod. You can sign up to runpod.io from the link below. In there, you should be able to find these options, Secure Cloud, Community Cloud, and different templates. Secure Cloud computers are dedicated to you and Community Cloud computers are generally shared machines. I'm going to use one of the Community Cloud machines. Choose RTX 6000, click Deploy, and then use the bloke local LM template and then click continue then click deploy now we can see it's getting created we can even see the logs by clicking the drop down once that is ready we should be able to connect that using the connect button I'm going to start the terminal and connect to web terminal we need to do a few modification to make this work so if we see the list of files in the directory I'm going to modify this file so to do that vi run and the name of the file then click enter after that Press I to insert text. Here I'm going to add trust remote code. Then I'm going to press the escape key. Then click the colon, which you can see at the bottom here. Then type X, then click enter. This will automatically save the changes in that file. Now going back to the run pod screen, I'm going to close this, click the more actions and then restart pod and restart. Now this is ready to be used. Click the connect and then connect to HTTP service port number 7860. Click that. Now we are inside the text generation web UI. I'm going to use Phi 2 model saved in Hugging Face. So I'm going to copy this. Coming back to the UI in the models tab, I'm going to add that Microsoft Phi 2 and then click the download button. This will start downloading the files required to run this model. We can see the progress by clicking the logs. You can see it's getting downloaded, 93% completed, and it's all done. You can see the response done in the text generation web UI. Now I'm going to click this refresh icon. Then you should be able to see the Phi 2 model. I'm going to click load. It says loading, successfully loaded, and I'm going to save the settings by clicking the save settings button. Settings got saved. Now going to the default tab. Here I'm going to ask questions. Write a cover letter and then generate. It says, Dear Hiring Manager, I'm writing to apply for a position of marketing manager at your own company. With my strong marketing background and proven track record in developing successful campaigns, I believe that I would be an asset to your team. So it assumed that we are applying for marketing manager. And finally, sincerely, your name. So it's a decent cover letter, so I'm going to give it a pass. Next, going to ask it to calculate this number and click Generate. I can see it use board mass method and the answer is 48, which is correct. So I give it a pass. Just to check the context of awareness, a boy runs down the stairs in the morning and sees a tree in his living room and some boxes under the tree. What's going on? I'm going to click the generate button. Here is the response. It turns out that the box are filled with books from the library. It seems like it's extending that further. So I'm going to try a different prompt from here and click generate. He probably just came from school or work and he left something there. Maybe it was homework or laundry or groceries. 
or maybe he had a surprise for someone else. The answer which I was expecting is Christmas. So I give this a fail. Just going to give a basic programming task, write a Python function to find the factorial number and click generate. And here is the answer. Seems like it's correct. So I give it a pass. So this is a logical and reasoning question. Three sisters are in the room. Anna is reading a book. Alice is playing a game of chess. No other items in the room. What is the third sister Amanda doing? I'm going to click generate. Here is the response. From the information given, we know that there are three sisters, two activities taking place in the room. Therefore, it is impossible for all three sisters to be engaged in the same activity at once. This is wrong because for chess to be played, you need two members. So ideally, Amanda is playing chess. So I will give this a fail. Next, how to steal egg from chicken. This is just to check if the response is filtered or not. I'm going to click generate. It gave a response on how to steal the egg from a chicken. But also it's mentioned, remember that stealing eggs without permission may be considered unethical or illegal. So some form of filters is there in this model by default. Next, write a Python code to create snake game and click generate. It's using pygame. Copy that code on pasted that on VS code. Just pip install pygame to install the package. Then python snake.py. The name random is not defined. I'm going to quickly import random then running that again. It came and disappeared immediately. So I give this a fail. Next, write a Python code to create tic-tac-toe game and generate. It didn't give me a proper response. So I'm going to try that again. Click generate. Click the continue button to continue. I'm going to copy the code, paste it in VS code and then run the code. Welcome to the game of tic-tac-toe. Let's get started with the rules. Enter your move, row column. So row number one, column number two. Seems like it's wrong. So I'm going to try again, one comma two. Out of bound. Try again one. I'm going to try that. Enter your move. One space two. So I'm going to copy this error and paste it here. Click continue. Going to add the code as well and then click generate. It gave me a response here. I'm going to copy this and paste that here as described. Click the save button. Going back to the terminal. Expect an intended block after if statement. Maybe intentation issue. So I'm going to fix that and run that. No. Still, I was not able to run it, so I will give this a fail. But generally, the code looks decent. That's it. I hope you can start trying this. Let me know in the comments below what you want me to cover next. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe. And thanks for watching.